It is June 17th, which in the mountains, that means it is spruce tip season. We are Call of the Wild, and we operate a dog sled tour company in Jackson Hole, Wyoming during the winter. But in the summer, we move all of our dogs and ourselves to our off-grid homestead in the mountains. What started as two kids just trying to build a cabin with some dogs has turned into a lifestyle, and we're learning as we go. So whether you're sitting in an office, dreaming of the mountains, or you've been living this lifestyle for years, we'd love to have you follow along. And maybe you'll find a little wild in yourself too. Uh, we are at about 9,000 feet of elevation, so our season comes quite a bit later than a lot of people's. Um, but what we are looking for when we say spruce tip season is these nice green, lime green buds. So you can see that this part is uh, quite a bit lighter green than the rest of it. And it's very soft. Um, once you let them get to that darker green color, they're going to be pretty spiny and not uh, really great to eat at that point. One thing you want to remember when you are harvesting spruce tips is that uh, you don't want to harvest the whole tree. So um, there's a lot of different numbers I could throw at you. Just don't pick all the buds because you do want that regrowth. Luckily, our property has a lot of spruce trees around it. Um, if you are using other people's property though, you wanna make sure that you are asking permission first and always identify your species of plants before you eat them. So if you've been following our channel, you'll know we made spruce tip vinegar last year, um, but I really loved the recipe. It tasted so good in salad dressings, um, just with a little bit of olive oil and bread. Um, huge hit, so we're gonna make it again. I'm gonna do a little different adaptation for one of our jars this year, so make sure to keep watching. One really nice thing about this recipe is uh, a lot of spruce tip recipes, it really only works if you use the very young, soft spruce tips. But last year, the ones that I used were actually a little bit older um, and they, they still turned out really good. So if you feel like you've missed the boat on spruce tip season, this is a really great recipe for you procrastinators like me. So the original recipe came from Haphazard Homestead. I'm going to go ahead and link her channel um, in the notes below because she has been really instrumental in my personal homesteading journey with lots of great recipes. So if you like this channel, you're definitely going to like her channel. Um, go ahead over there and click subscribe as well. So this recipe is super simple. All you need are black peppercorn, apple cider vinegar, honey, and of course spruce tips. This year I'm going to make a variation on one of the jars. I'm going to add garlic, mustard seed, and some crushed red pepper and see if I can't get a little bit more of a pickle flavor. And we'll let you know how that goes. All right, so go ahead and fill your mason jars. I didn't fill mine all the way to the top this year. That is what the original recipe called for. Um, but we're just going to see how it goes. So once you do that, you're going to want to add 10 peppercorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And honestly, last year I added more, so we're going with 14 on this jar. Then the next thing is two tablespoons of honey. I am not a precise measurer. This is not the channel if you like measuring. <laughs> all right. And then the last step is to fill it all the way to the top with apple cider vinegar. I ran out of apple cider vinegar, so I had to go get reinforcements. All right, so now fill it to the top with apple cider vinegar. And you're gonna put the lid on. I recommend writing the date on the jar just so you know. Um, I let mine sit at least a week before opening it. 
Um, okay, so now that we have our um, original recipe jar out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and do a variation of this. So I'm gonna start with the same recipe um, by adding your peppercorn. And um, also a little bit of honey. I'm gonna go ahead and only add a tablespoon to this because I don't want it to be super sweet. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some garlic. Now I love garlic, so I'm probably gonna add more than most people would, but we'll just see how it goes. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some mustard seed. Not too much, you really don't need too much of this. Just about a half teaspoon. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some red pepper flakes because I like spicy things. And at the end of the day, if it really tastes bad, I'm the only one that has to eat it. Um, same thing, we're just gonna go ahead and fill it to the top with apple cider vinegar. And it already smells super good, so I might do another jar like this. Okay, so once you have all the ingredients in the jar, just make sure to seal it tight. Um, last year we used a water bath, but it has a pretty high vinegar content, so I'm not too worried about that this year. Uh, you're gonna wanna store it in a cool and dry place and invert it every week. And uh, we like to let ours sit a little bit longer, at least a week. Um, the last one that we opened was a year and it tasted really, really good. So the longer those flavors can sit and marinate, the better. If you liked this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Um, if you have tried this recipe or have different adaptations, I'd love to see it in the comments below. And as always, um, if you'd like to support us and our pups, go ahead and press subscribe, hit the bell button so you never miss a video from us. Thanks so much for watching and stay wild. If you didn't know, we own sled dogs. We are trying to make content, Electra. <laughs>